Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the latest GW pre-orders video. Right, so we got a couple things we got. We finally got the good releases for Warcry. Not that the first one wasn't, but this week is just so much better. And we have one more release for Necromunda. And this week, I was going to talk to you guys about... This is, they have a, um, the last chance to buy stuff up for Age of Sigmar, and a lot of it is High Elves, Dwarves, Old Empire models, um, Freegal General, everything is just sold out. The, if I probably refresh this page, probably the top few are going to be sold out as well. Sky Cutters are gone, that was an amazing model. I wish I had got my hands on that. Um, yeah, everything is sold out. A lot of fantastic models. Hopefully this is a good thing because we get to see some more Empire or Free People models coming out. Maybe some High elf isk type of models as well. So let me have a quick refresh of this and see if these ones are actually gone. All that was left was the Lore Master and the Chaos Battalion type of thing. And that's gone as well. Oh no, it's not still there. I thought it was saved. It was still there. Okay, so... What is up for pre-order this week? So we have the Palanite Enforcer Patrol for Necromunda. Now, I'm not too familiar with Necromunda. Um, I don't have any of the models. There's a lot of awesome stuff for Necromunda models. But these, I really, really like these because... And I just having a quick look at them, you think they're just like a normal kind of standard unit for whatever they're for in Necromunda. But each one of these guys, they all have different weapons, different loadouts, which is awesome. Uh, this guy has a sniper. There's a list here. Enforcer shotguns, enforcer bolt guns, auto pistols, stub guns with flashlights, sniper sniper rifles, shock shock batons, uh, concussion carbines, and loads of stuff. I really do like this this box. Um, maybe it's just the color yellow. I've been really trying to focus a lot of stuff on yellow kind of this year, so maybe that's what might draw me towards it. But I like these because each model is almost completely unique because they have their own weapons and they're not just kind of like different poses with different bolt guns like we have ones with like shotguns sniper rifle pistols shock batons uh, or shock batons so i really like these these are coming in at 34 euro on element games these were on element games the one i pressed on them they said that you can only get it through the games workshop re website now so 34 euro still not too bad for these guys. I might pick up a box of these in the future. Now moving on to the War Cry uh, War Bands. We have three new ones coming out. Well, we knew they were coming out. Um, but they weren't up for pre-order uh, two weeks ago. So we finally have them now. We have the Unmade. Now these guys are... I think they're, they're cannibals. What was the description in this? Uh, tribe of cannibal killers obsessed with pain and body mutilation. These guys think this is the only way... To be a true follower of chaos. Now. This guy in particular is. Absolutely. Batshit crazy. And unfortunately the 360 view. Isn't working on this guy. But we can have a look at some of the other ones. Yeah a lot of these are like unique poses. I thought this guy had no hands for a second. He does. He only has one hand. This is attached to his arm. That is brilliant. I love their helmets. Um, kind of like a half slanish looking. And then like with bits of corn. Like the helmet is very corn looking. But the things you see here. Kind of around their waist. That's. I don't know whether it's meant to be. Their skin off. Or the skin off their face. Or the skin off someone else's face. I remember reading that in the Warhammer community. I think it's this guy's face I remember reading. He has it around here. And you can't see his face in there. But the skull on top. These are. These guys are crazy. This is what you call a cult looking uh, war band. Like this guy only has one arm as well. I wonder if that's the thing that all of them have to have one arms. But look at that. They have sandals as well for shoes. These guys, yeah, he only has one arm. Yeah, so it must be a thing with the cult. Um, like a things catcher here as well. That's awesome. I really like these. I'm strongly thinking about picking up a couple of these war bands as soon as I can. Just after seeing these these three that are up for pre-order this week. I absolutely love these. These are fantastic. And I'd really love to get a box of them to see how you could do with conversions. Let me get a smaller screen back. There we go. Again, you have your cards as well. Does this have the names of them? Blissful One, Joyous One, 
Awakened one with flail. Awakened one with brutal pole arm. Ascendant one. These are awesome. They really are. And that 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 this guy is just like the top of the cake. He is fantastic. Uh, coming in, all these are coming in a forty euro. We have the splintered fang. Yeah, these are all forty euro on element games. They are two hundred twenty six eighty eight. So, you know, as usual, I will be picking up anything off Element Games if I do get something. But let's have a look at the Splintered Fang. Now, I thought these guys were maybe from the the Deepkin. But these guys apparently worship, like, snakes or some snake god. It has the name down here. They worship the strange creatures known as the Coiling Ones. Consuming searing toxins to prove their worth, worthy, worthiness. Now, I was kind of a bit, ah, these guys are okay, they're kind of very gladiator-y looking, which is kind of cool, I do like it. But when you kind of move along, you see the connection that they have with the snakes and everything, like, this is fantastic, this is really well designed, the pose is awesome. And you're getting more than just one guy, it's like, you're getting the snake is a big part of it as well, which I love, that face guard is cool as well. And here you have a guy with, pretty armoured up. So some of them are actually kind of pretty standard. Their pose is nice. You get a base here full of snakes. So maybe it's just the guy with the snake that I really like then. It is. It actually is just this guy with the snake. I think he's deadly. It's a pity you can't get him just by himself. I'd definitely pick him up. The rest of them are nice. Um, but, you know, I thought these were all going to have like snakes with them and everything. But it's just one of them. He is Serpent Caller, which I suppose in one way it is nice where, like, it takes one guy to be, like, a specialist in being a Serpent Caller, I suppose. But I, I like the guy with the shield. I always like models of shields. They look pretty good. And then we come on to probably, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell if it's going to be my favourite for Warcry. It's either between these or the Unmade. Here we have Corvus Cabal. These are the Birdmen. I remember when these first came out on Warhammer Community, I was like, holy shit, look at this guy. So here we have like another leader guy on stilts as well, with the claws of like a bird. I mean, look at that. That is one amazingly designed model. It's like, it reminds you of like, there's always like one crazy guy in some weird movie. And this guy just happens to be worshipping birds. I mean, this guy is still awesome looking. A lot of detail, the bird coming down. Really nice pose there. I like the, the pose with the two weapons. Those claws are really good. Helmets are fantastic. Not sure about the blazer, it looked like feathers. Oh, that one looks like an arrow he can throw. I wonder if he gets just like a blowpipe. That guy's okay. Go with a pole. So the game, the weapons, I see a lot of weapons with these guys, uh, of all the units that have poles. So it must be a very specific type of weapon in Warcry. Give you a larger reach. So it looks like a girl almost. Oh, there's a woman. I like that one. Yeah, this, it's just, this, these are, there's, there's like a three or four in this, this unit that are so strong looking. Like, this guy is amazing. Does it give you the details about them? Not really. Let's see, have a look, see what they're called. So, Masters of Ambush and Assassination, Warriors of the Cabal, tend to possess the un unnerving focus, taking little and communicating with combination of complex hanging signals and sharp cries that sound like those of hunting prey birds. Oh. You get the name of the guy? One Shadow Piercer, two sh one Shrike or Shriek Talon, two Spire Stalkers, and five Cabalists. Weapon options. These guys are almost too nice to pass by. I love this box, it's fantastic looking. So, what would it be? Unmade or Corvus Cabal? Oh, that's a tough one. It really is a tough one to choose between these two. But let's have a look at the final one. We have the Ravage Lands Shattered Storm Vault. So here we have some more terrain coming in at 70 euro. Two pretty big pieces. I'm sure all these can be connected. 
So you can have like one big solid piece as well. Oh, here we go. Oh, you get a 360 view on this. Uh, not for me because it's not working. But very uh, kind of display worthy. It is pretty cool. Lots of cool details on it. And yeah, look, it, it must be massive. Look, this guy looks absolutely tiny, on, and I'm sure this guy here is pretty big, but he looks tiny on that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Seventy euros a bit pricey, but if you're really into your terrain, I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. What's oh, the board as well on the bottom? Shit, I never, never copped that. I wonder if that board is textured. Uh, I doubt it. Let me see. Nah, it's just a game board. But even that, it's still really good. That's awesome. Big chaos mark on it. Um, this is coming in at whoa forty nine twenty eight, so just under fifty euro. That's actually pretty good. That's a nice price discount. Now I'm, I'm really not sure what to get. I, I'm, I'm strongly thinking about ordering one of these. We have Corvus Cabal, or we can get the unmade. I'm kind of hinting at the Corvus Cabal because the leader guy is just so strong. But I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I think this is a fantastic week for pre-orders. Um, there's even like a little bit of 40k, well, Necromunda. Uh, with a good with a good looking unit. I like these guys. Palanite and Forcer Patrol. Uh, lots of different options. Maybe you can change things up. Maybe I'm not sure if they all have to have different weapons, maybe you can just give them like all the same weapon, but even if you don't if they all have to be like the Iron Pitcher I think that's a really good box to get um, but Warcry by far is the winner this week, with these fantastic box boxes, uh, Splinter Fang you know, not to be too disappointed with them, like they're still pretty nice they're fantastic models, they, they look great but completely overshadowed by these two, so anyway, let me know what you guys think this week, I think it's a great pre-order week, um, let me know in the comment section below, and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.